Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Please turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when we upload a new video. Thank you all, we just got shot at with AK-47s in Soweto. This was posted by an Operation Dujula member who claims that Zimbabweans and Sotho citizens opened fire at the Mene community crowd that was attending to string theft. One person failed during a clash on Monday between Operation Dujula members and residers of an informal agreement in Cliptown, Soweto. According to media reports, nine community members have been shot in Pimville when Operation Dujula leader Nlanla Lux led a group of residers to check allegations of string theft. Media reports further state that six injured people were rushed to Baragwanat Sanitarium, one to Lissetti and one to Chiyoalo Conventions in Soweto. Police prophet, Brig Brinda Muradili has verified the incident. She says that the incident took place at about 4.30 p.m. The police prophet says a group of people, allegedly residers of Pinville with Operation Dujula members marched to Chicken Farm in formal agreement in Cliptown. Pinville residers are complaining about theft of electricity lines. Putatively an altercation replaced and shots were fired. Police certified one person dead on the scene. Leader of Operation Dujula, Mlanla Lux was spotted running down in fearful manner leaving behind his comrades as pellets flew after being shot by residers of squatter camp called Chicken Farm in Soweto. Supposedly the residers say Operation Dujula members indicted them of being non-natives. That is how string theft and mineral stealers operate, they open fire when cornered. Too bad our government has been sleeping on, the job now this situation is about to get messy. On the other hand police in Harry Smith in the Free State say they've arrested six illegal foreign citizens for the contended theft of Bobby Lines worth an estimated 1 million rand meanwhile, with Operation Dujula set to launch its parochial structure in Limpopo by end of April, some of the community structures in and around Poliquane say they drink the movement. Do our leaders look at other countries and say we're going th is rude and we cannot allow this to be or they're so far from reality they okay with anything as long as they aren't affected in Lanla Lux, the head of the Operation Dujula movement, has entered dispatches from residers of KwaZulu Natal on Twitter expressing their want to see him in the fiefdom giving them food parcels because he has professed to love them. They stated that they've not seen Lanla Lux since the food distribution began, and they express gratefulness to the gift of the giver for aiding them in their time of need. Some of them said that they've not seen Gaten McKenzie, Kenny Kaneen, or any other members of the Operation Dujula movement since the deluge, and that none of these individualities is in charge of arranging real efforts. However, also check if they've said or done anything to help e-communities of Durban cases that have been affected by e-cataracts, since they claim to speak for communities data affected by social and profitable issues if you want to see that at Lanla Lux, and his Operation Dujula outfit are a fort. 